In this video, here I am going to show you some of the data types used in Kotlin programming language. First one is number type. Number type is classified into int, double, long, float, byte and short. Here is an example that demonstrates different number type format used in Kotlin programming language. We have int, double, long, float, byte and short. Here we print all the variable values. We can check the program output. So this is the program output. So here it will print all the number formats used in Kotlin programming language. Next one is character data type. You have to use a single quotes to, as, to make assignment for a character data type. So here is an example of how to use character data type in Kotlin programming language. Here we have a variable v that of type character. We make some assignment. So here we use single quotes to make an assignment statement for a character data type. Finally we print the value of the character. So here is the output of the program. The next type is boolean type. Like in any other programming language, boolean has only two values, true or false. So here is an example of how to use boolean in Kotlin. So here we create a variable called is job done that is of type boolean and we initialize that variable with the value true and we print the value of that boolean. Here is the output of the program. Next one is the string data type. The string data type is controlled by the string class. The string data type is again classified into escape string and row string. Here is an example that demonstrates how to use string in Kotlin programming language. Here we have a variable called escape string that is of type string. So here we initialize the escape string variable. So in an escape string, you can use escape characters like a slash n, slash b, slash t, etc. So here we print hello from in a new line. Again we print Kotlin in another line. So this is an example of escape string. So here we print the escape string. Now here we initialize another string called the raw string. So if it is a raw string, you have to use triple quotes to initialize this string. So by using raw, raw string, you can print a paragraph without using any escape character. And here we print the raw string. We can check the output of the program. So here is the output of the program. So here is the escape string. We use some escape character in that string. And here is an example of the raw string. So here by using raw string, uh, we can print a paragraph. So the next type is arrays. So array is a collection of homogeneous elements. Like in Java, you can use different data types in array. So here is an example that demonstrates simple use of array in Kotlin programming language. Here we have a variable called the roll numbers. Here we use a function called the library function called the array of to initialize the array. And we pass some integer value to that array. And here we print the first and last index of the array. So for printing the last index, we use here as index as roll numbers dot size. That will return the total size of the array minus 1. That will give the last index of the array. So these are some commonly used data types in Kotlin programming language.